Hello students, welcome back to DBS Math. Today we are starting new lesson in physics part. Imagine you return home on hot summer day. What will be the first thing you will do? Yes, you will turn on the fan or AC and have some chill water from refrigerator. What you will do when you get bored? You will turn on your television and watch your favorite movies. So likewise, we have so many appliances in our daily life. So what is the common among all these? Yes, they are electronic appliances. They all need some energy to carry out their specific function. Just like we human beings, to get energy, we will have nutritious food, drinks, etc. Electrical appliances also need different form of energy to carry out their specific function. This energy is called as electrical energy or electricity. So today we are discussing class 10th physics first lesson electricity. Then what is electricity? Electricity is a branch of physics which deals with the study of charges. So when we come across charges, you know everything in the universe is made up of an atom. If we consider an atom, the center of an atom is made up of nucleus which constitutes protons and neutrons and around the nucleus there are electrons revolving around it. Here if we consider protons and electrons, protons are positively charged particles, electrons are negatively charged particles and like charges repel each other, unlike charges attract each other. So study of these charges we are calling it as an electricity. The electricity are of two types. One is static electricity, another one is current electricity. Static electricity is a study of charges at rest. Here charges are collected on the surface and it causes by friction or rubbing. So when we rub a balloon to a hair, hair are attracted towards a balloon and some sheets of paper are attracted towards a comb. So these type of electricity we are calling it as static and this you are going to learn in detail in your higher classes now only we are focusing towards current electricity it is a study of charges at motion here we are going to observe the charges are moving in a particular direction so here in this concept we are going to study in detail about a charges we are familiar with air current and water current we know the flowing of water constitute current in reverse. Similarly, if the current charge flow through a conductor, we say that there is an electric current in the conductor. For example, in torch, you know that the cells provide flow of charges or electric current through the torch bulb to glow. In the same way, a switch makes a conducting link between the cell and the bulb. So this continuous and closed path of electric current is called an electric circuit. So that means what do you mean by electric current now? So it is an amount of charges flow through a particular path in unit time or you can say that rate of flow of electric charges is called electric current. Electric current is represented by the letter I. So formula for current is E is I is equal to Q by T where Q is electric charge and T is time taken. So finally formula is I is equal to Q by T. The SI unit of current is Ampere, named after the French scientist Andre Marie Ampere. So here if you want to calculate the value of 1 Ampere, so 1 Ampere can be calculated when flow of 1 Coulomb of charge per second. That means 1 Ampere is equal to 1 Coulomb by 1 second. Ammeter is an electric device which measures the amount of electric current in the circuit. And remember, ammeter is always connected in series, that means adjacent to the bulb. So if we consider a simple electric circuit which consists of bulb, ammeter and a battery, ammeter is connected in series. How does these electric charges flow in the circuit? Let us take an analogy of flow of water. As you all know, water flows from higher level to the lower level. In the same case, electric charges also flow through a high electric pressure to the low electric pressure. 
that means the capability of bringing or capability of moving unit charge from one point to another point we are calling it as electric potential it is a capability of moving electric charge from one point to another and in the same case in moving we will say that the work is done right so this work done in moving electric charge from one point to another point we are calling it as potential difference potential difference is represented by the letter v v is equal to w by q where w is work done q is charge the si unit of electric potential is volt named after the physicist alessandro volta and now if we define one volt one volt can be defined as one joule of work is done in moving one coulomb of charge from one point to another that means one volt is equal to one joule by one coulomb we use voltmeter as an instrument to measure the potential difference and it is always connected in parallel so if we consider a simple electric circuit here we have voltmeter it is a symbol of voltmeter and it is connected to a bulb in parallel now let us consider a simple electric circuit diagram which consists of a cell battery plug key electrical components and el connecting wires and we have so many of components in the circuit diagram now let us learn the symbols of some electric components symbols of electric components number 1 an electric cell we represent positive and negative terminals number 2 battery or we can say it as combination of cells two or more cells it is a battery number 3 plug key or switch here it is open switch number 4 it is closed switch and number 5 we represent wire joint in this form number 6 wire crossing without joining seven electric bulb it is a symbol of electric bulb a resistor of resistance r the resistor is symbol is like this and we will discuss the resistor in future class variable resistance or rheostat that means variable means changing resistance number 10 ammeter number 11 voltmeter symbol number 12 galvanometer symbol So students in this session we learnt about electric current its circuit diagram electric potential potential difference ammeter and voltmeter and how it is connected and some symbols of electrical components so if you like this video do subscribe my channel and keep supporting me thank you